Welcome back to another CTF Learn Challenge write-up video. In this video, we'll be walking through the cryptography challenge, RSA Noob. Let's get into it. These numbers were scratched out on a prism wall. Can you help me decode them? All right, so here's the numbers they give you from the file from this download link. And you have your E, C, and N. So a pretty standard RSA Noob challenge, but this one's even easier because E is one. So we can actually figure this out very easily without even having to figure out what P and Q are from N, right? Because normally you would have to factor in in order to figure out what D is, which would be the opposite of E, the decryption key. So let's go ahead and open up my PowerShell terminal here and let's run Python, okay? And let's go ahead and set up these variables. We're actually only going to use C and N and you'll see why here in a second. Okay. So under normal circumstances, you would do power of C, comma, and then D, and then comma N in order to decode this, right? Well, here's the thing. In figuring out what P and Q are, right, we know that we need to get phi in order to get inverse E because D is calculated from the inverse of E mod phi. So Let's just say we have P equals one and Q equals, actually, no, they have to be prime numbers. So we can't do P equals one. Let's do P equals two and let's do Q equals three for simplicity's sake, right? Phi would equal to P minus one times Q minus one, okay? And then D, would equal the inverse of E, so E to the negative one or E negative one like that, and then mod phi. Well, I don't have E to find. Let me go ahead and do that, I guess, e equals one. So if we print out D, it would essentially be one. Why is that? Well, if E is one and we raise one to the negative one power, it would just be putting one over that number, right? So if we were to do two to the negative one, it would be one half would be two to the negative one power. It's just putting a one over the constant behind the exponent. So one mod anything is one. So check this out, one mod one. Okay, sorry, let me rephrase that. One mod anything but one and zero is one. So if we did one mod two, that's one. One mod one through three seven, that's also one, okay? And we know that phi is going to be bigger than one because it's a multiple of P minus one times Q minus one, and N is quite clearly larger than one. So it literally cannot be one. So that being said, we know that D is going to be one. In the final step where we actually decrypt, you know, the message, right? We'll say M equals for message, M equals, power of C comma, remember D, but we know D is one comma N. We really don't even need to do that, right? That's the one is unnecessary because a number raised to the first power is just itself. So all we really need to do is make the message equal to C mod N. And that's the only step we really need. If we print out N, we see we have a decimal. Now we need to convert this to ASCII. We can do that very easily. So. What we're going to do is we're going to first convert M to hex. Okay. And you'll notice that these characters are indeed readable ASCII characters. If you've been around hexadecimal numbers long enough, you'll know which ones are readable versus which ones aren't in terms of ASCII. So 60s are definitely readable. And we're going to simply do bytes dot from hex. And then we're going to say hex M and then we're gonna slice it because we need to take off the first two characters. When you do bytes up from hex, it doesn't like zero X in front of it. So that's what we're going to do there. It's going to start from the second index and move all the way to the end. And then we're gonna put a closing parenthesis and then we're gonna do a dot D code so that it converts the byte array that you get afterwards to a string. And there's your flag, ABCTF, better up your E. I hope that all made sense and we're just going to go ahead and submit it. All right. If you enjoyed the video, drop a like and subscribe to the channel to show your support. Turn on post notifications to get regular injections of cyber content directly into your feed. 
Check out our Patreon, join our Discord, and follow us on Twitter. Links in the description box down below. And leave any feedback or questions in the comment section down below. This is Almond Milk. Thanks for watching. Goodbye, world.